Konnichiwa, me and this is and you're watching Pokecast today's 10 minute first impressions video. It's going to be on a PlayStation 1 game, and that is Iceman Digital PlayStage. Now, I just want to say, this is actually not my first time playing the game, so this one breaks the rules only because I had one of those stupid loading issues. Uh, which means the recorder just flat out stops recording. It's it, stupid, it's weird, oh well. So I'm re-recording I'm re this just because this is one of the games that I feel deserves justice, if you will. Now let me explain. This is actually one another one of the games that is way overdue on my um, lowest rated game list for GameFacts.com, PlayStation games. This is the number one lowest PlayStation 1 game on GameFacts.com. It is also the number one lowest miscellaneous game on the same site. So, I'm going to, you know, just replay the game, and that way I can get you guys a good video. However, there will be uh, times where I'm literally going to have to pause the video recording, because the loading screen malfunctions the recording. So, yeah. Alright, anyway. Like I said, that's what the game is. So, as always, 10 minutes to play the game. In this case, not the first time playing a game due to technical difficulties, so second play, because the game deserves justice, and... You know... Normally I don't do any skipping, but uh, I'm not really going to skip anything, I'm just going to pause, so that's different. So let's get the timer started. Timer's been started. Alright. So let's go ahead and do this. So, here's the, here's the main menu. It's of course it's a June box. We got the movie player, we got the multi-angle, we got stage effect, we, and we got photo album. I will show each of these and, you know, have fun with it. And explain why I think this is a fantastic little thing. So, real quick, I'm... Okay, I'm back. Actually, that was the part where it kicked off. Okay. So, it basically is... A uh, stage performance from one of their live um, songs. And it's not terrible. I like their look. They're definitely A's. That's how it feels. And their music's actually really nice. I like this. And one thing I was saying before, I'll be surprised if I can keep this video up because it will be a band. But, yeah. I'm actually very impressed with the music. There are some of the boy bands from Japan I don't like listening to. But this isn't bad, actually. So, one of those I'd say, look up, because you, you might enjoy it. Plus, their look's awesome. Alright. Let's go ahead and check out the other menu. Alright. If you hear me stop talking for a little bit, I'm actually watching my recorder making sure it's recording. Okay, multi-angle. Okay. I'm really happy that it does have multiple effects going into the other menu. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. There's a reason for this. <laughs> I actually like the video to this one. Um, okay. So, basically you have record, replay, load, save data, help and all that. And we get to watch the video. They actually took the time to do three different... Um, 
camera angles and you get to uh, change them. So let's go ahead and uh, start this up. And it works with uh, exactly how it's disposition with the D-pad, up and down in the center, left and right goes to the different uh, other uh, players. So I'm actually really excited to do this again. Oh, this is actually a lot of fun. Still, I would not, you could not pay me enough money to do that. I'm sorry. And I love that his instrument. I really do. That's awesome. You just don't see that very often. Alright, and... Now that we're done with that, we can go to replay. And... It will show off what we chose to be the the music which is really nice i like that and also highlights the names of who you focused on so this is pretty nice and i i find this entertaining it's cheesy yes but i'll get to why this is awesome a little bit later So, that's what's really cool that they do this. Alright. Let's check out the next menu. Stage effect! Alright. I'm gonna go into here, I'm actually gonna need to pause the video. Because I know it's gonna, it's gonna have the same problem. So, let's go in. Alright, and we're back. In photo album, we get to, well, look at photo albums. We got each of the, the individuals, and we have their band photos. And then we can get to go to our option. Change the framework. Let's go with this one. I like that one. Okay, um, speed. Let's do three effect. Okay, we'll just go here. Um, the music for this one, just some background music, I don't know if they actually wrote this song or not, but you get to enjoy the photos of your band that you like. And of course, if you're one of those rabid fan girls, this is probably the one place you'd be at the most. And then, of course, if you're one of those evil fangirls, then you'd pick one of them. And... Be like, okay, uh, this guy. And, of course, the only thing that you would actually be playing on your PlayStation would be non-stop this. And then, you know, your brother, your whole family, you would have to do an intervention to at least get you to stop and play something different. And there goes the timer. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and get back to the main menu. Why well, I, I think this would be cool. This is a game that is rated the lowest rated game on GameFacts.com. Reason being, non non Japanese or 
well, okay, non-Japanese and non compromising gamers, which uh, that would probably be in another way, because you know it's basically since all this is is it an awesome idea. You know, you uh, think about this. Some other bands that would be, in, I mean, I would go out and pick up, I have to see if they actually have some more, because I actually would like to if they did. But you know, like we say, um, some bands that you like, ones I wouldn't mind to get my hands on would be Asian Kung Fu Generation, The Pellows, uh, Mika Nakashima, BOA, Do His Infinity, you know, Do His Infinity, and various other ones that I would love to get my hands on a, uh, PlayStation 1 game like this. Here in the United States, there's definitely a couple bands that I would have loved to do, do it with as well. Um, some European bands, K-pop, you know, there's just so many uh, artists and bands out there that this would have been a fantastic idea to have released this in other parts of the world. Um, I don't know exactly what because I didn't research that before doing this video. Even after I lost the footage the first time. <laughs> but um, just imagine that. Being able to have a PlayStation 1 game where you get um, four songs. Um, three of which... Okay, five songs really. And four of which are... Uh, do you get to watch the actual live performance of the song? But then you get to mess around with two, you know, three of the songs, uh, making it through your perspective or adding effects. It's cheesy, yes, I know, but if you're a fan of the band, and those should happen to be your, f you know, we'll say at least one of the songs is your favorite out of the four, or however many songs they did, that'd still be completely rad. Um,. It's a clever idea, and I think it's a it's a it's a great idea. I mean, I'll be honest. This is a clev more clever idea, and and at times I would have to say cooler idea than the Cover Girl.